Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Hey, look, in this video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my poor man's Cover Call tracker spreadsheet that I'm releasing probably after this video. I'm completing my how to use video so you too can download the free poor man's covered call tracker spreadsheet so you can keep the numbers in front of you and up your game. Hey look, if you've never been to my channel, that's what I try to do and I don't charge you nothing. I have a mission. I have a mission to show you my trades so you can learn something because sometimes this covered call strategy is confusing and overwhelming for some. Well look, this channel is here to demystify that and I show you my trades so you learn something. Hey look, before we get going, if you like this channel, I want you to subscribe to this channel. You see it right there. And hey look man, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Hey look, one thing we're gonna talk about today is buying great stocks that trade in a range. See, my good buddy is having a tough time. He's bought some stocks for which he's down way over $10 each and he doesn't know what to do. And I ask him, why are you feeling, why are you feeling the emotional roller coaster? You knew this was gonna happen if the stock market were to fall. And he said, look, I'm fearful that I write the covered call, I do all the right things, and tomorrow the stock rockets 10 bucks on news. Well, I shared with him how I trade and I think you'll learn something from it. And I'm gonna show you a recent Chevron trade where I think you're gonna learn something. Now look, before we get going, I am releasing that poor man's covered call tracker spreadsheet. You need to go to ctpdashboard.com and download the free poor man's covered call tracker spreadsheet. Like I've always told you, you have to keep the numbers in front of you. And when you're working with leaps and selling near-term covered calls, man, you need to know when you're profitable, when your leap is profitable. This is about using this strategy successfully and treating it like a business. See, you need to treat this like a business so you're always looking to up your game and my free spreadsheets are always out there for you all you have to do is go to ctp-dashboard.com and download look I don't charge you nothing I want to remove those tiny little hurdles in your life's journey to success using this strategy if I charge you for these spreadsheets you might not buy them and then guess what you're not keeping the numbers in front of you the stock market is absolutely out of control, right? It's either up 300, it's down 700. Look, it is a news-driven market right now. You could have great jobs numbers. You could have the Fed coming out talking interest rates that might be beneficial to the markets. Look, with this trade war happening right now, Wall Street has uncertainty. And when they have uncertainty, we have volatility. And if you're not prepared for that volatility, then you're gonna be on an emotional roller coaster. And hey, I feel for you because I have been trading this market since the late 90s. I have seen it all. The dot-com boom and bust, the great recession, and of course now, since 2008, this phenomenal market run-up, and now we're near that top. We're at that top of uncertainty. Could we even go higher? Man, I don't know if Wall Street truly knows that, so every opportunity to sell and take profits seems like they're doing that, and that causes volatility. That throws risk into the stock market. And if you're not prepared for that, or say you're in retirement, man, those fluctuations in your account just absolutely hitting you over the head, right? You know, you could be up a couple G's today and down a couple G's tomorrow. You have to make good decisions, keep your emotions in check, and the only way you do that is if you learn this stuff. I'm gonna show you a couple trades here. Uh, recently, you know that I bought SANS. I wrote a couple cover calls on SANS. I picked up their dividend. So for me, SANS is a profitable trade, but hey, look, SANS has fallen down to 68 and 69 dollars. I'm profitable on SANS, but look, this could quickly go bad. So I need to have a plan. Chances are I'm gonna buy this covered call back. You see it right there. I wrote a 75, April 20th, got paid 66 cents. Probably gonna buy that back and then look to write another covered call maybe a little bit above my purchase price but hey look in these volatile markets I need to make a good decision and that might be my best decision on SANS now you see Bristol Myers as well Bristol Myers I've collected a dividend I've written a couple covered calls you know the stock trades in this great range where I can pretty much sit on my hands in the short term and it'll go up and down in the case of Bristol Myers it fell a little bit so I dollar cost average with a couple more hundred shares so I'm writing more covered calls I feel comfortable with Bristol Myers unless there's a huge news event. Bristol Myers is probably going to trade in a range between 60 and 66. 
These two trades are going to speak to my bigger theme of buying great stocks at trade in a range. I'm going to show you my Chevron trade that exemplifies that. But before we get there, look, the Dow is absolutely gyrating. The emotional roller coaster is absolutely killing some people. I understand. Like I told you, I've been there. I've done that. I've owned the great stocks. Look, all I could tell you is having your financial education, having the experience. See, a lot of times in my videos, I tell you that having the experience and dealing with these situations before actually is probably the best thing because you understand it. You feel it, you know it, and chances are you might not make a bad decision. And when it trades in that nice range, I understand it, I know it. So I could feel comfortable where if the stock goes down, it's not going to fall off the table. And if it goes higher, it's not going to rock it off the chart. So for me, I like to pick up those crumbs. And right now in this stock market, you know, you have those big high tech flyers like Nvidia that have literally fallen from 250 down to 215. So how are you going to write covered calls on a stock that you paid, let's say $245 for, and it's now trading at 215. See, for me, I'd rather buy a Chevron that trades between 112 and 117. So when I buy the stock at 114 and it falls to 112, I feel I'm in control. I feel like I could still trade my way out of it. It's a great company, pays a great dividend. So for me, that is what's important. Finding that great stock that trades in a range that is manageable for me and my emotions, right? Now, as you can see with the Dow, the Dow absolutely is having a tough time getting through resistance. Every time it hits that resistance line, it just can't make it. We get some news. Look, this is a news-driven market. The Dow recently uh, bounced off its 200-day moving average, but then fell again. So we don't know where this market's going. So it's very important now to make great decisions and uh, hopefully you can weather out this. Hopefully you could weather this storm. Now, look, I don't want to get too long with this video, but I do want to talk to you about that theme that I talked about. See, my buddy is down $10 on some of his favorite stocks and he's been making money writing covered call. Problem is now those stocks are down some $10 per share and he doesn't know what to do. Actually, I know he knows what to do. The problem is it's tough. It's tough when you buy that stock and you're down 10 bucks a share because you know your purchase price is much higher and chances are if you write the next covered call, it's going to be under your purchase price, which means somebody's going to take your shares and you are going to be losing money. Well, that's where you need to have your exit strategies in place. But look, that's another video. Look, I'm going to show you my Chevron trade that again fits the theme of buying great stocks that trade in a manageable range. So in the case of Chevron, like I've told you, Chevron without any major news will trade in these nice ranges, right? On a low, it'll trade at 110. On a high, it'll trade at about 118. Well, I'm going to watch Chevron and as I buy it right here in the middle, I can write a covered call and out of the money covered call. And with Chevron, I'm picking up close to two bucks. If Chevron starts to head towards that strike price and then dips down towards that 110 that I just spoke of, I don't fear. I buy back that option and I wait to write the next covered call. And in the case of Chevron, notice that it trades up and down in this nice range. It doesn't fall off the table unless there's major news. It doesn't rocket higher, leaving me feeling like I'm holding the bag, selling my shares at a much lower price as the stock goes higher. I find those great stocks. Look, I'm not making any recommendations, but I do talk a lot about Chevron and Microsoft and Bristol. Those stocks trade in that range I'm talking about. So I want you to do your homework. Go find those great stocks that pay the nice premium, those crumb premiums, great companies, they pay dividends, and just look to write the next profitable covered call. Look, I don't know if the stock market goes higher, lower, sideways, but the one thing I do know, if I can trade these very manageable positions, I can be profitable. Now, before I let you go, I have to tell you about this Chevron trade. I actually put on a trade where Chevron was trading at about 113, and I had a 117 April 20th. I got paid a buck 75 for it. Chevron moved towards that strike price and then peeled back with this most recent sell off. It got down to about 112x. And I'm sitting there, man. I got paid a buck 75. The option's trading at about 86 cents, meaning if I bought it back for 86 cents, remember, I got paid a buck 75. 
I pay 86 cents to alleviate the obligation. I could profit the difference, sit back and see where this market's gonna go. So what did I do? I didn't wanna pay 86 cents. I wanted to pay 85 cents. So I put in a limit order for 85 cents, actually never thinking it would take. I checked back later and found that Chevron was trading higher at about 114. So I figured there's no way that that 85 cent buyback happened. I didn't even check my phone, I didn't check anything. Then the next day, Chevron was up $2.80. Now it's above 117 and I'm feeling like, oh, this is just my luck, right? I still have two full weeks. It's already hit my strike price. Man, Chevron's probably gonna go to 120. Then later that night, I'm checking my emails and I see my brokerage account sent me an email saying I bought back that offer option for 85 cents. Unbelievable. So I put in that limit order. It took and then it alleviated the obligation and then I'm ready to go, right? The funny thing is the very next day, Chevron was down three bucks. So anyway, I'm sitting here with Chevron. I have no shares covered. Uh, I'm gonna wait this out. I've collected the dividend. I've written a couple cover calls. So my cost basis is not 114 anymore. It's much lower. So I feel like my next covered call is going to be profitable. And hey, look, we're looking to make that three and 4% on this trade and we will move on. Hey, look, before I let you go, in these times, in these volatile times in the stock market, I really am pulling for you. I hope you can handle it emotionally as well as making good decisions. Man, I, I hate hearing when we don't make good decisions when we could have. Now, with that said, I too find myself in a negative position on a couple of my positions. But it's one of those things where you just want to make sure you have your emotions in check, you make good decisions, and you keep getting that experience and you keep learning. I do wish you the best of luck. And hey, look, I do want you to download my Poor Man's Cover Call Tracker for those of you that want to use the Poor Man Cover Call Strategy and track all of your results. I'm going to offer that up to you for free. I don't charge you nothing. And I'm going to do the how to use video later today so you can learn how I use it for my poor man's covered call. And hey, you can also go to my playlist and watch my poor man's covered call learning series on the poor man's covered call, the pros and the cons. I definitely want you to up your game before you step in to that arena with buying leaps and selling near term calls. Hey, look, until next time, I hope all your covered calls are profitable. All I see is signs, all I see is dollar signs.